Today I'm going to share with you three tricks that I use to work on the same drawing for 20 all the way up to 65 hours and the last trick I'm going to give you is by far the most important so make sure you stick around to the end so you do not miss it. So trick number one is to work in one hour drawing sessions because obviously I'm not just going to sit there for 65 hours straight and create a drawing because I would go quite frankly mad and my back would absolutely kill me. So you may be sat there thinking one hour that's actually quite a long time and if that's you then I'd highly recommend you work out something that I like to call your patience threshold and it's super easy to work out. All you need to do is you need to set a timer, start drawing, and you're going to keep drawing until you feel yourself getting bored, you want to do something else, and you're starting to rush it. Then you stop the timer and whatever time you get is going to be your patience threshold. And this is going to be the duration of the drawing sessions that you're going to be working for. And you may be thinking, damn it, my drawing sessions are only going to be 10 minutes long. I'm so impatient. Oh, how awful. And that's fine. Basically, the more you draw, the better you'll get and the more you'll enjoy it. So even if your drawing sessions are just 10 minutes long, if you keep spending 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, 10 minutes there, you will get better, you'll start to enjoy it more and your drawing sessions will gradually increase and increase. So it's always worth just kind of like recalibrating your drawing thresholds from time to time. So that moves me on to trick number two, listen to something. Now this can be anything from music to audiobooks to podcasts, just anything that you really like. But on the topic of music, one thing that I'd recommend is having a playlist that's at least an hour long of songs that you do not tend to skip. Because something that can happen if you like have loads of rubbish songs on your playlist and you want to skip them is you go to your phone, which is like a cesspit of distraction and it just really breaks you from that drawing focused zone. That sounded very cheesy, but it's true. And this is why I prefer listening to podcasts or audiobooks because you get that constant stream of information or a story and it helps to keep you in that drawing zone. So this brings me nicely onto the final and most important trick, number three, split the drawing up into individual parts. Now you may be thinking, well, this is a really dumb and boring trick, but it is honestly the most important out of the ones that I've shared with you today. Because when I'm working on like a Lego drawing, for instance, I really do work on it one piece at a time. So like I'll be working on one piece and then I'll be like, oh, I'm bored of this one. So then I go and work on another one. I then come back to that original piece and then I can pick up on stuff that I may have missed the first time around because I'm looking at it with fresh eyes. Something else that splitting the drawing up as well really helps with is to give you loads and loads of mini rewards because something that can be really overwhelming when you look at a whole piece is it's like, oh my gosh, I still have so much to do. And it's just like, I don't know where to start. But when you do like one piece at a time, you're like, oh, victory. I did that piece. That looks cool. Then you do this other piece. You're like, oh yes, little piece done. Yes, victory and then you just stack and stack and stack and stack these victories until you have a final cool piece. I hope you found the tricks in this video useful. If you have your own tricks for how you work on drawings for long periods of time, please leave them down in the comments. And yeah, to see more videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button and I shall see you in this video right here. Go and click it. It's a pretty good one, you know? Pretty good.